Yes. Again, do you hear it? That was loud. Yeah. You okay? You all right? You sure it wasn't Chris? Did, no, I didn't touch it. You didn't touch it. Did you get no foot? No, definitely not. <gasps> Whoa. Hello again. Carl? I'm commanding you to do as you are told. You make that noise. Is he angry? Oh, gee. Whoa. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. You're all right. It's flying out there. What's behind you? Shanks, turn around. What's behind you? Welcome back to Most Haunted Live from Gettysburg and a unique paranormal investigation. Absolutely live. Two hours have passed. We are not even a third of the way through our journey and already it has been a remarkable evening. The team led by Vet Fielding are upstairs inside the house. Brian Shepherd is with me, though, our medium clairvoyant and psychic artist. And I would say, if I could just hold this up for a second, just to show everybody, I think the focus of your psychic art here has changed. You sense this woman, her name was Mary. Absolutely, yeah. This is something... For, I thought you were drawing a mirror. This isn't a mirror image here, No, it's it? not. It's, it, it's part of the room. But what's happening? Something else has come through. Now, I, I believe this is... This interacts with what's going on above us, most positively. This, this person, a rebel, a rebel soldier. He's a confederate soldier yeah, in this house. Absolutely. And I think the team above us are in danger. Do you have any names? You have the, the woman's name was Mary. Mary. I'm, not, I'm not getting a name. I'm not getting a name for the soldier. But you are getting but a sense of danger for the team. it could be the same person they're talking about now. I suspect they are. And they're being stalked by this, 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 this soldier. Now, we have had a lot of focus from whatever is upstairs towards Yvette. We've already lost a team member, Kath, who's been feeling unwell. Do you get right. any sense that this is a presence that has a dislike, maybe a hatred of women? A hatred, generally, I would say, of anyone who is in this house. Whether it's just, you know, whether it's um, especially women, I don't know, Paul, but, um, but there's a heaviness, there's an oppressiveness about it, yeah? And a, there's something sinister and evil about the whole thing. But I really do, I can't put it you know, any more strongly. They're in danger. I'm starting to wish, Brian, I was anywhere but here at Farnsworth House in Gettysburg. Thank you for the moment. We're returning now to the vigil, which is taking place directly above our heads here in Farnsworth House. Let's go straight back there. Michael, I'm so bad at names. Michael, when he comes, uh, you know, like he came behind you, they can get startled too, yeah. you know, so. Absolutely. So, but, I worry about that. No, no, I'm She's stuck in. I'm strong. She's really cold. She's wearing the boxing gloves you gave her. That's so funny. I'm strong. She's us. Oh, please tell me it's her anniversary or birthday or something because she keeps bringing that up. Like it happened today or like it's now. Okay, I think we're on air. I think we are. Yes, now, we're up here um, in a different part of the house. We're above the studio, so we have to be really careful because everybody below us, where Paul Ross is and everything, they've got to be very, very quiet. Patrick and I sat on the bed, and Patrick has actually been telling me about my grandmother, who's in spirit, and telling me about how I've got to protect... Bangy. Yeah. How I've got to protect myself and how I've got to be careful what I ask for and so on, which mm -hmm. I, I suppose is for everybody, really. Yes. So we've just been having a quiet chat about that and I got a bit carried away. <laughs> anyway, so we're here in the bedroom and now, Kieran, yes. tell us about this piece of equipment. I am fascinated by it. This is uh, basically, it's a prototype and very, very basically think of a broken AFM 
or AM radio. Essentially, it's a radio without a tuner, and it'll just scan through all of the frequencies. And the principle behind it is that if you're asking, like you call out normally, you're yes. asking the spirits to give their message or to come through, they'll either speak through the white noise, the static in between the stations, or they'll actually use the radio broadcast at particular frequencies to form sentences or to actually come through. So we're looking for coherent words that mean something okay. associated with this location or something in the white noise. Okay, we've got tapping now in mm. the room, which means someone with, is with us. Do you want to set it going? Yeah. Who's with us? Oh, let me speed it here and try to connect with that. It's difficult. I'm not doing two at once here. Okay. Hang on, Kieran. If we just wait a sec. Okay. I just want to get... So we, we get who we're talking to first. Okay. There's the tapping. Tapping. This is someone else. This is a new person. It's a man. Okay. Put, your, put the boom down, Shaggy, on the floor so we can hear the tapping. Can you tell, are you a soldier? Are you connected to the house? It's constant. It's, it's a soldier, it's a, he is, okay, he's he also wearing gray. Gray. The Confederate. He's walking, he's not talking to me. Oh, he doesn't want to talk, no. okay. he's a silent one. Do maybe, you want he, maybe he's aiming himself toward this. Okay, let's, let's give it a go. So, Kieran, you tell us what you're doing. I'm just going to turn it up now. Basically, I've upped what's called the scan rate. So you'll hear words coming through, which are basically radio broadcasts. And it's flicking through all of these stations and frequencies very quickly. And we're just looking at, listen out for a constant voice, or a message coming through, or a word that means something for this location. Can you hear that tapping? Look at the light with the tapping. Are you hearing the tapping as well, Shaggy? It's getting it's wild, isn't it, Carl? Mm. It's in time with it. Mm -hmm. It's in time with it. Mm -hmm. One woman's voice. Yeah. It's one woman's voice, and yet remember, it's it's scanning through hundreds of radio broadcasts. But it's the same voice. It's the same or? voice. Yeah, that's the, that's what you're meant to be getting. You're meant to be getting like a voice trying to get through. Oh God! So this could be a woman's voice trying to get this through. This could be. No, it's a man's voice. Nothing. Nothing. Come on, speak to us. Speak to us through this box. Can you slower? Yeah, I've just turned it down. Oh, you turn it down, OK. Difficult, isn't it? Oh, it's very hard. It's really distinct. It's yes. going to be like pareidolia. Yeah. You're going to be finding yeah. things. That's really eerie. Can you imagine yes. being a... That would be really eerie. That's eerie. You're on, you're on your own. No your way. Right. No <laughs> way. Jose. Has it? 
turn this down a bit. Okay. Anybody in the room, Patrick, with us? It's... no. Hmm. Tapping's gone. Or connecting. Nothing. 